Flashing should be used to prevent the entry of water through joints between materials or surfaces. Proper flashing can make or break a roof assembly. This is especially true where roofs intersect with walls. It is also critical where components such as chimneys or vent stacks penetrate the roof. A variety of materials and thicknesses can be used for flashing. They include aluminum, copper, galvanized steel, lead sheets, polyethylene, zinc, and vinyl. The material selected for a particular job will depend on what you are flashing, weather exposure, solar exposure, and the compatibility with other materials. Caulk is not a permanent flashing material, so a durable and long-lasting flashing system should be designed without relying on caulk. A common failure in flashing occurs at roof-to-wall intersections. It is critical that we place the building paper or house wrap on top of the step flashing to maintain proper water drainage from the wall to the roof. It is also critical to properly install step flashing at all wall-to-roof intersections. We recommend that the finished cladding be kept two inches off the finished roofing surface. This will reduce the wicking of water in wood and other moisture-sensitive claddings and provide for an easier future roof replacement. Another concern at wall-to-roof connections is the appearance of water staining on the siding at the roof edge. This problem can be avoided by creating a kick-out step flash at the first course of shingles or roofing material. Again, we have to be thinking about durability and longevity. Another common flashing condition occurs at shed roof to wall connections. As with step flashing, the building paper or house wrap must lap over the metal shed flashing in shingle fashion. We also recommend applying an adhesive membrane strip adhered to the top edge of the metal flashing and the wall sheathing material. Valley flashing is another component that requires careful attention. In high rain and snowfall areas, Metal valley flashing should be installed over a layer of self-sealing bituminous membrane. We recommend this flashing be as wide as possible. We also recommend that you use electro-galvanized flashing with a minimum 26 gauge thickness for longevity and durability. Always run the end of the valley flashing just beyond the finished fascia. Also, careful attention needs to be paid to how the water will flow when placing flashing where gutters are to be installed. Other critical areas requiring special attention include crickets, chimney flashing, and roof penetrations. Prior to putting on the finished roof material, imagine you are spraying a garden hose on the underlayment. Will all the water run off the roof assembly and away from the building?